whenever we're talking about alternate angles that is what i'm bringing to attention you are looking for a shape that is in the form of z so it can look like this it can look like that it's still a z it can look like that it's still a z it can look like that it's still a z so it depends it's more of a z and an n maybe just to say you have got a z and an n that is inverted in a way now look at this if we're talking about alternate angles we are saying if that angle here you've got an angle here look at that angle it is equal to that angle that's what we mean by alternate angles Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident, welcome again to our revision session or to our lesson where I'm teaching you about the geometry of straight lines and in the previous lessons we looked at the introduction to some basics in geometry which is the parallel lines and then we did lesson 2 where we focused on um, when we're talking about corresponding angles. Now we are going on to look at alternate angles and as I said just to bring again the very very important concept the concept of parallel lines we said if you are given parallel lines as shown and how do you indicate that they are parallel lines remember you need to show if they give you those errors it's a sign that shows that these are parallel lines so let's say this is line AB and then the other one is line CD and then to indicate that they are parallel, you are going to write as A, B is parallel to C, D. That is how it's written. So now if we introduce a transversal line like that, if we introduce a transversal line, then we come up with what we call alternate angles. Now, where is the alternate angles, I mean, being formed? Now, look at this. Take a look at this. If I have... For example, focus on this and that and that. You see that? Now, whenever we're talking about alternate angles, that is what I'm bringing to attention. You are looking for a shape that is in the form of Z. So it can look like this. It can look like that. It's still a Z. It can look like that. It's still a Z. It can look like that. It's still a Z. So it depends. It's more of a Z and an N. Maybe just to say you have got a Z and an N that is inverted in a way. Now look at this. If we're talking about alternate angles, we are saying if that angle here, you have got an angle here. Look at that angle. It is equal to that angle. That's what we mean by alternate angles. So we are saying alternate angles are equal. So if I had, for example, I've got um, in here M and N. So what I will say will be A, M, where the angle M is, N is equal to D, N, it's A, M, N is equal to D, N, M. And then you're going to say what? Alternate. The reason is alternate angles. And then the condition is A, B is parallel to C, D. Are you seeing that? So that is a, an alternate angle that we're picking up. There are also other alternate angles that I can still pick up. Look at this one now which is a little bit different but it is still an alternate angle now pay attention i can have it like that 
I can have it like that. I can have it like that. Do you see that it is also shaped like a Z? But look at this now. That inner angle is equal to that inner angle there. Are you seeing that? So how will you write it? In this case, you're going to say from B, M, N, and the angle that is at N, I mean at M, remember this was our N, is equal to, you also have C, N, and M, and the angle that that. What is the condition? This is the condition. That is an alternate angle that we are picking up. So if I can draw also lines, such as two parallel lines, for example, let's say I've got a line like that and another line. And we are saying you need to indicate that these lines are parallel. So we are saying that. So you have got your A, B and you have got your C, D. Now, yes, they are parallel. Now bring a transversal line. It doesn't matter how you bring it. And you can see now, as I say, it is either you're forming a Z or an N. Now, look at the end that you are forming here, which is that, which is that, and which is that. Now, the question is, which angles are equal? Look at that part. If I have that angle, the inner part of the end, it is equal to also that particular angle, which is the inner part of the end. Are you seeing that? Similarly, look at this now. If I take this part here, extend it uh, and make it straight line if i extend that i take that and i take that you see that it's a kind of an n which is saying that angle is equal to that angle it's also called alternate angles I think that so you need to be very 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 sensitive when you are dealing with alternate angles and I think we also did um, uh, another set of alternate angles in when I said if you are given your parallel lines like that in this case so that indicate that this is a parallel line instead of the transversal line going like that if it goes in the other way you can still have the kind of um, a trickier alternate angle to say if I give you that and I give you that and I give you that you see that kind of an N and you can see the alternate angle that angle is equal to that angle or you can form the easier one which is the N in a way that is inverted this one this one and that one I seeing that do you see the angle that angle is equal to this angle so these are alternate angles but where is the trick number one they need to be parallel lines as you have seen number two they must form either a Z or an N and from here you need to be able in a way to identify even scenarios such as this which is still an N or still a Z which looks a little bit different but you can actually get a uh, kind of the idea what we're talking about so whenever you're dealing with alternate angles don't be tricked remember that now join me in the next lesson where i'm going to look at core interior angles you also need to be able to identify what we mean by core interior angles we've come to the end of our lesson remember subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified every time i'm posting a new video thank you